we may be back in business, boys. Dad was over yesterday, and uh, we sat back and did some thinking. <laughs> and that fan fit. I just had to put it at the top, not the bottom. Which is actually even better, because the top is where the hot stuff is, so that's better. Got pretty good clearance in there. I was able to not have, I was able to take my spacers out and just use it straight up. Generally lines up. Got another belt, which is a little snug. I could probably go with a 7435 instead of the 7430, but uh, got two belts to run the water pump, one for the alternator and the water pump. Got my pipe plug. We're moving. And thanks to O'Reilly, not a sponsor, but they had the little kid I needed to mount the, uh, the fan. And they had the world's oldest XL Universal spark plug kit, boot spark plug wire kit, which has all of the boots and connections that I need. I'm most likely not going to use these wires. I'm going to use my tailors, but I've got a full set of boots and connections now. So maybe sometime today, even before all the rest of my garbage comes in, I'll have enough to get this thing running. So got my relay and the fuse for the fan. Going to use the EFI system to turn that on. Uh, but the first thing I need to do now, this is going to take a little time, is I got to get the front end back on the car. And in order to do that properly, I basically need to put it on with all the bolts in loose, close the hood, actually, and get the side skirts in here, get everything put back together as straight as it can be and lined up then snug everything down so that it'll all fit again then I can take the sides off and put the hood back up like it normally is but uh, no we're doing good I was surprised that Riley had a fair bit of old-school hot roddy kind of stuff and when you're working on a 37 Ford with a big block Chevy in it that's kind of handy so I definitely need to start looking there first before I go online because they've they've had a few weird things I've needed in the past I just didn't think about them until yesterday when I was looking for the belt and then it's like well hell let's see if they had anything else and sure enough they had damn near everything the only thing I'm waiting on thanks fat X is my air cleaner which who the hell knows anyway so we're gonna start putting this front end back on and see what we can do Well, she's back together and snug. A little easier getting the bolts in this time than it was getting them out because the, without the condenser and the fan up front, that went pretty smooth. I got everything snugged up. I'm about to take these back off because it's a lot easier to work in there without them. Definitely going to have to trim this bracket again. I really wish they would have used the standard center outlet with this. But now that the belts have changed and it's moved, we are definitely impinging on that hose again. So I'm going to have to pop that bracket off and cut it down some more. Because I actually cut a hose with the thing while I was driving. Um, with the last unit. With the last, uh, before I trimmed the bracket with the other pulleys. Anyway, uh, everything looks good. Clearance is good. Now, once I get the side panels off and put away, Going to start wiring up the fan. Got me a relay, got a fuse, I've got a hot supply, and uh, get the fan wired up and get the trigger wired to it. Shouldn't be too bad. Try to keep that fairly clean. And once that's done, then I guess we'll do Plug wires. We're getting there.
have never been able to do that. Not much, but it started off, at, it triggers at 175, it got up to 177, even on 177 on the dash, been running a few more minutes and now it's coming, it's dropped a couple degrees. So that's cool. That fan is really ripping. as soon as you turn on the key and uh, it doesn't kick off when you're trying to start the car so that's interesting I kind of wish it had an interrupt so that when you were actually turning over the car it would uh, not fire that fan till the engines running so I may see if I can put a switch in there for something like that plug wires aren't perfect because it's cobbled together from a couple of different sets, but they're all functional, I think. They don't seem to be misfiring. Whew, that HVAC oil stinks. I must have got some on the header when I took all that garbage out. It was smoking all over the place. I've sweated up the paint again. Wonderful. This is going to need a full detail by the time I'm done with it. But she's running good. So far, no leaks. Transmission staying dryish now that it's running occasionally. I gotta get some slightly larger screws for some of these trim pieces. But still haven't run that run that cable. I will one of these days, I swear. Probably the next thing I need to do, honestly, is uh, put the line lock in it and all the brakes are under the floor over here under the seat so all that has to come out anyway that'll probably be the time I to run that cable out into here so I don't have to just run it through the window but let's 
give it another fire up because I like hearing it. said just put it right in the middle and it would have been clear of everything but anyway that's fixed got my tools cleaned up because it's getting a little later time to chill out so guess we'll give the trunk a little close here with the book These actuators are cool until they break and you can't get into the trunk. Not quite sure what I'm going to do about that, but I just replaced that one last year. So, I think we'll get in it. Maybe get the tires rolling. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Got the old... Sniper. Alright. So I adjusted the throttle blade so the idle air control was good. Once it gets up the temperature, see how this works. Everything looks good. Let's get it in gear. Doing something. shoot the parking lights. I think that's because I got a ground off in the back when I took out the marker light for the uh, license plate. A little pressure. Good. Those belts are not terribly happy. They're, they're tight too. They may end up having to go to a little serpentine system or something. There we go. I see it 5, idle at 700, right where I had it. It's supposed to be between 2 and 10. So that's good. I want to watch the fan come on again. Yeah, it's kind of funny how this fan just come on at 175 where I programmed it doing good so that's nice but uh, I'm working on this thing today this is uh, the first day of Rocky Mountain Race Week 2.0 2021 I just watched a few first few cars go down and on uh, the live feed 
And I'm excited. I think this thing's going to fit in, going to do well. Well, it won't do well in class because it's restricted because no rollbar, but I think it's going to be fine as far as the exercise of that type of an event. And uh, looking at it, it's got some really cool hot rods in it. I just watched the hot rod class go, so I think it'll fit in real well in that. Uh, if not, naturally aspirated big block is no issue because that's what it is. Um, but now we got a few things left to tidy up. I need to get the line lock on it. I got a sticky caliper on the left front. I need to get fixed because don't need that locking up. I mean, it's all damn near 20 years old at this point, so you know it is what it is. But uh, now I'm looking forward to it. So hopefully, after I get all the brake stuff done start driving this a little bit, give it some learning, and then uh, I think she's just about ready to get to the track. So, we will see. Anyway, that's about it from here. <laughs> Can't get enough of that. So, we will talk to you all later. Hope you're all having a good day. Take care.